I would probably say uh, speed and strength because uh, everyone in the you get stronger in college and everyone in the division one athlete, so speed is a lot faster. Everybody's in um, battle for positions, so positions are open and uh, everybody is kind of going to um, be a uh, leader and step up and uh, uh, challenge each other and push each other on the court. All right, Keon, uh, we have a student who would like you to describe. How does it feel to dunk on people? Um, I think the dunk is, is really um, underestimated right? as far as the court goes. A lot of people say, well, you know, it's under between the dunk and the land, it's only two points, but the dunk is like a huge, it's a huge uh, momentum shift. And a lot of the times, like, you finish on people, like, you get fouled, you get uh, extra opportunities to score when you go to the free throw line. So uh, it feels good, especially if you're having a pretty bad game. You know, you dunk on somebody, that pretty much get your momentum and your confidence back up, so you start to play better. So, uh, I don't know, uh, a lot of pros, a lot of young people are dunking, so. Friend, I'd like to know, Taylor Darby, what is your biggest problem with the Taylor Darby, what is your biggest goal for your college basketball career? Uh, my biggest goal is to win the WCC uh, Conference Championship. I think it's all my goals. So, I basically graduate. It would definitely be to improve in the WCC, hopefully get up to the top couple teams and just kind of work our way up towards the top of it. Uh, from last year, we did better than we were expecting. I think this year we keep doing that. We keep working our way up at some point. Hopefully this year and next year we'll be the top couple teams and we'll be part of the, we'll be talking about who can make the NCAA tournament. It's a very deep team. We talked about how 11 guys played last night. What are the best things and worst things about playing like that? Because sometimes you don't know your numbers going to be called, you don't know how long you're going to be on the floor. So the best thing, uh, everybody gets a chance. So if uh, someone's not doing a job on the court, another player can uh, step up and take on the challenge and uh, step up and make shots and stay on the floor. Biggest strength, biggest weakness you see after the first two games of the year? I think our biggest strength so far in both of these games is our defense. Our defense is allowing us to stay in the games. Uh, we've done a heck of a job of defending both teams. Uh, probably our biggest weakness is putting the ball in the basket. Uh, we're not shooting the ball very well. We're not, uh, we're not executing as well as we need to. And, uh, that's going to come. That's going to come with, with guys playing together uh, more. Guys, real talk, ever talk a little bit about what the fans were like back then, and then maybe talk about how important that was. You're going to draw people there, and, uh, and that's something that we had back in the, in the day. We recognized that people wanted to watch our team. We had some, uh, some uh, very good players that have gone on and done some great things. Doug Christie being the, the marquee guy. Coach Asbury, this team is obviously a year older now in your second year back here, but what is the biggest difference you've seen in them having matured over the last 12 months? What is the biggest difference you've seen in their play and their work ethic? As you mentioned, the biggest difference is our size and strength. I think that's probably the thing that has to be has to be mentioned first is that they spent a great deal of time in the weight room in the offseason. They knew we had to get bigger and stronger. We knew that we had to compete at the highest level in the league we play and the people we play in the non-league. We needed to put on a lot of weight, a lot of strength and they've done that. They've done a great job of that. I think just the familiarity of the system and the understanding of what it takes to compete at this level. A year ago right now, we didn't know we're over two, we're a much better basketball team than we were. We played more, much more competitive for longer periods of time. And we're going to get a bunch of wins this year, no question in my mind. And we're going to start Friday night. Uh, you know, this team is, is much more sound in understanding and knowledgeable defense. We will guard people a lot better this year. We're, we're already way ahead of where we were last year defensively, both man and the zone. We need to continue to do that.
two freshmen basically running their team with uh, Lauren Jackson who returned late there some last year. That's going to keep us young and somewhat immature at the point guard position, which is like having a, a, a freshman quarterback in the football team. You know, we think these guys are mature and get better as the year goes along. And then Tanner Carey from Sydney, Australia, about 6'9", 230 pounds, and uh, you know, he's playing the four and five position for us. He's a guy that we saw in the AAU circuit in the United States when he came over a year ago last spring. You know, we really liked him. Good athlete, physically strong. He's going to add a good presence to the team too.